sehen. G'day, g'day. Thanks for joining me again in some mailbox madness. I'm Big G and welcome to the G Spot. Now I watch, there's a couple of channels I regularly watch. One Circuit, based in Tasmania here in Australia. Uh, Pilo Stuff, who is in Canada. Uh, Big Clive. Oh, look, there are others, and I will over time mention them, but Pilo Stuff starts almost every video with a stout. He calls it beer. In Australia, we call black beer stout. But anyway, I'm a bit, well, I'm not annoyed, but yeah, you know, I'm an Aussie. Nobody drinks more than Aussies. So in the tradition of Pilo stuff, tonight's drink is Cooper's Mild Ale. I've never had this before, so it will be interesting. And if I still had a wife to whinge about that pile of stuff, I would uh, blame you. <laughs> I hope you don't mind me pinching your idea here, but you know, I have to stand up for the Aussies. So, that is a very pale ale. A bit hard to, to see. Let's taste it. Different. It's it's nice. Kind of a bit like a um, a homebrew. That's what it reminds me of. It's fairly bitter. Got a nice. You you'll from time to time you'll see. A number of different and let's say let's shall we say interesting knives um, I'm not going to talk about them public but publicly but feel free to drop something in the comments if you like and uh, and uh, I will get back to you what do we have here ah This, oh, is a servo motor. And I don't really need another servo motor, but the reason I bought it, two reasons. This is metal geared, and I'll show you the listing, but I really bought it for the horns because it showed in the horn assortment. And it does not have what I bought it for. Wouldn't that piss you off? What I was looking for was a far smaller version of this to fit pan and tilt mechanisms, but yeah, this is not, well, I won't say not as advertised till I check the listing, but certainly the photo on the listing is misleading because I remember it vividly while I'm packing this away we'll switch over to the listing and have a look Okay, I'm going to call that one a fail. Oh, I didn't put the motor back. However, the motors, yeah, there's always a use for motors, so it's not a complete loss. Okay.
next item. A few here today. Okay. Not sure if the seller wants their address shown, even though it's a PO box, so we'll cut it this way. Oh, okay. Get rid of that. Oh, this is going to be a pain. I always whinge about packaging because it actually sometimes hurts my hands because of the damage I have to them. It sometimes hurts my hands getting these open. But, in honestly, honestly, or honestly, I prefer they pack them well than not. I have a pet hate on people that send you sensitive, static sensitive gear with um, you like in a normal plastic bag where it's highly possible with all the handling it will get damaged by static. Okay, in a recent, um, if I remember it, I'll put a, a link up here somewhere, but in a recent mailbag I got two USB hubs from Timu. And what happened was I thought two had turned up, but only one had and it was a dud. I mean, it does provide power, but there's no data connection on it. In fact, we're going to do a teardown of it soon, just to see what's going on inside it. Oh, Jesus, I can't even get this open. Gonna have to damage it. There's no lift lid, is there? No supposed to be a slide out box but it's so bloody tight I can't budge it okay there we go get rid of that there we go there's our box so this is an RSH-516 Model C from RS Tech. So we have, I guess that's going to be instructions. Hardly needed for this, but let's have a look. Oh, there's the little nice looking. And it has a bit of weight to it too. Oh, okay, Takira brand. There is a film on the front which I won't tear off just yet. Now if I remember correctly, this, yes it is, is a powered USB hub. Now, if you're going to use a USB hub just for data transfer, it doesn't matter much. But if you're going to run things that draw power through it, you really do yourself a favour. Buy a powered unit like this one. So this comes with an Aussie plug power supply. And that's the jack for it. And this appears to be a switch or something for USB 3. We'll look into that light up. And it comes with a ah That's actually the USB 3 plug to go into your computer. And it's like the old USB, the printer plugs are different. I've never seen that before. So that is interesting. Now we're going to put it back in the box for now. So I don't completely lose everything immediately. And 
We will test that in a video very soon in one of my quickie equipment tool videos, I suppose. And I'll let you know what I think after I've used it. I'm not going to plug it in there like a clown and pretend I know all about it, as people do. Okay. Last one, I think. And this is going to be a Timu one. And I don't know how relevant to electronics this is, because I've been building up a collection of toys and things for my granddaughters when they visit. Not that they visit much, but yeah, every time's good time. What the hell is... Oh, okay. This rather strange looking device. Is a hand pump. My son is very keen on certain sports. And uh, this is for him so he can keep his balls pumped up. No jokes, please. Okay, what on earth is this? Oh, this could be a birthday card. I never seem to have a birthday card when I want one for my kids and what have you. So I started, if I happen across nice ones, I've started buying them and putting them away. This is a terrible envelope to get into though. Which is a pity, I'd have much rather have kept it in here for safety, but anyway. Shit happens in the big city. In fact, shit happens no matter where you live. Because there are so many shitheads in the world. Uh, no, I'm not going to show that because then one of my kids might see it too early. <laughs> oh, this is a heavy little parcel. Very heavy, in fact. Ah, okay, because my office here, study, lab, whatever you want to call it, is usually an absolute pigsty, I couldn't find pliers for a while, and I particularly wanted some pliers that spring open on their own. So these are for both electronics and jewellery repair. I don't really make jewellery anymore, but... So we'll show you where we... Oh, these came from Timu, obviously, but I will show you the listing. So what we've got is a little pair of circlip pliers. Auto spring open. Okay. A uh, little pair of um, uh, angled forceps, let's say about 50 degree angle, which will be handy. A pair of side cutters, which I will use. These will need a lube. Oh no, this, they're coming through. Side cutters, which I'll use for heavier stuff, but I like flush cutters for electronics. And a pair of needle nose pliers. Put them over here. Let's see. Another box. What is this? Oh, yes, alright. This is a small 
feel like I always seem to get shadows when I'm recording and I can never get fill where I want it. So I bought this cheap fill light that comes with a mini tripod which I think will be handy and it comes with colour filters red, yellow, green and blue um, not sure that I'll ever need them but some basic instructions let's sit that over there we'll plug this in see what she looks like okay watch your eyes here comes the light maybe no oh turn the switch on whoa that is quite bright turn that off so I can see again okay let's try these settings this is the a dimming setting which is good and we have a, an increase setting which does not seem to be working and then we've got a what looks like a recycle button in the middle ah that changes colors three different whites warm white cool white and a mixture and just want to recheck that brightness control oh yes it does work so all right let's put a filter on it see what it looks like what color blue blue's a nice color oh, i don't think you're going to pick that up on the camera because it's too bright i'm not sure how they go oh, looks like they slide into the frame so that should be very handy I will experiment I'm about to rearrange the office you'll see that on video but I will experiment with that to try and get the best results oh, this has not got some stuff in it that I was expecting Where is this? Oh, that's where that opens. Another box. And this one. What the devil is that? Not sure why they've put this in a. Excuse me, anti static bag, but yeah, better safe than sorry. It appears to be a light, USB light. Is my guess. Watch. Oh, there we go. Nice green light. Button on the back. What does that do? Oh, blue, red, lighter blue, purple. Ah, oh, so it changes colours. Long press. Yep, long press puts it into colour change mode. And how do we turn it off? There we go. Um, not really sure why I bought... Oh, Jesus. Not really sure why I bought this, but... Sure it'll come in useful. Well, I didn't see a white light in that. Anyway next one what else do we have in here oh these are um, small anti-static bags 
which I've ordered because I'm transferring all my sensitive stuff into antiseptic bags. These are little cable labels. You know, it's like you, you throw your cables into a tub, you've got no idea where they came from, so that will solve a problem. Oh dear. These stickers were for my socket set. But it's all creased and folded, so I'm not sure they're going to work at all. Would have been so easy to put that between a couple of pieces of cardboard. Oh, I think these are called MX connectors. So, I'll try and focus. They claim this camera is an autofocus. What a lot of rubbish. Um, I got them for a specific reason. But I do not, do not at the moment know what it was. I really start, need to start to write down why I order things. Okay, another squash box from Timo. They really should improve their packing. What on earth is this? Comes a little USB cable. Oh. No, I'm not sure what this is. We're going to have to resort to the listing. So that's USB A to USB C. The C plugs in there. Now we've got this rather unique adapter and I do not know what that is oh wow this is pathetic this is meant to be an imitation turd it feels turdy but I mean seriously looks more like a sloppy long brown dick but look at the size of it i mean it's pathetic certainly didn't indicate that size on the ad well ooh, throw that down the toy thing what else i think i felt yep one more thing i'm gonna have to check that because i don't reckon this has Half the stuff in it that I think it should have had. And if I remember rightly, this is a little toy. You squeeze it, and a creature pops out. Squirrel or something, I suppose. I don't know. But yeah, little kids will love that. Boo! Want to come home with me, little girl? That's a bit sick, isn't it? In you go. go. Suck yourself back in. And that is today's mailbag. As always, please help me out by liking and subscribing. And if you can, leave a comment. Positive, negative, just what you really think. Say hello, have a whinge about your wife. Um, but my previous channel, which got to 1400 subscribers fairly quickly, got deleted after I dropped the F bomb a couple of times and 
didn't pick it up in editing, so help me out and please like and subscribe. Cheers.